Hey everybody, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today showing you how to use self myofascial release on the quadricep muscles. There are four of them, hence the name quad. Rect fem, vastus lateralis on the side, vastus medialis on the inside, intermedialis underneath rect fem. Again, we're gonna use a five inch foam core ball. You could use a foam roller or other surface, but we're using pressure inhibition into a pin and stretch technique, which means I'm gonna compress the muscle between the femur and the ball until I get the stretch resistance to relax, so the nervous system will let go, and then I'm gonna stretch the muscle by pulling it underneath of the pressure of the ball without creating pain. Very important that we do that. We're gonna get into a position where the muscle would naturally be in a lengthened position, which means I'm gonna be in a prone position down. The ball is gonna be right on top of the kneecap. I can start exploring if I want to by rolling up and down, looking for a trigger point, irritable spot of tissue and or Again, close to the tendon, not completely on the tendon, but maybe just above or below it. And again, I'm just gonna isolate the muscle pushing into the, the tissue bed. So it's gonna compress into the femur. Now again, it shouldn't be painful, just pressure, taking all the slack out of the muscle. And what you'll find again is that it's gonna tension, the nervous system's gonna guard. And if you hold it there for 10, 20 seconds, it'll start to soften and relax and sink in. That's a good thing. You've cut off some blood flow, so if there's trigger points, you'll choke it off. Again, if there's fascia, the heat from the pressure will start to break down those collagen bindings. And then once the nervous system relaxes, you can start to thread the tissue between the ball and the femur by bending the knee, doing an active stretch, or a, again, a synonym or colloquialism for that is just a pin and stretch. So we're pinning and stretching the tissue under the ball. Now as I do that, you don't want to pull the pain, just a pressure. You'll take it to another stretch barrier, which means the muscle will tension up again. You're gonna to wanna to wait for that muscle to relax and let it sink in, and then you can go deeper again and pull further. Main thing again is that you're pulling through without hurting the tissue, so there's no pain, and you wanna go nice and slow in stages. So as it tensions, wait, let it sink, and then pull through to the next barrier for tension, wait, let it sink, and so on. Making sure that you use a graded approach so you don't hurt the tissue and rip anything. So we don't want to create microtraumas in an attempt to help to break down that tissue, or that collagen, I should say, fascia around the muscle. Um, and we want to respect the nervous system stretch resistance so it doesn't guard. So questions on it, reach out, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Remember, there's four of them, so you can do any of the segments, and it should be defined in your program if you're working with a movement specialist here at Fluid. So make sure you know which one you're targeting. And again, if you have bigger questions, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. See you soon.